so we are in Fresno, California, and we have a hose bib repair. Uh, this is inside of a cabinet area. Right there. So, cabinet back side of the wall. This is an exterior hose bib. Right near, it's on the backyard, but so right near two options. We could have repaired it from the outside, which would require a stucco repair, or go ahead and cut this open. And uh, now you just got a repair in the back of a cabinet. So we opted for this. Uh, you can see that this fitting here, the transition fitting the copper here, uh, it's a wing L, copper to copper. One of the tabs are broken off, so it's, you can't even mount it securely. Uh, additionally, back in there you can see where the copper's been bent. And then try to, try to bend it back. Typically when you try and bend it back is when it starts leaking. Or it just cracks the first time. Anyways, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to replace this whole thing with the... Uh, a copper by iron pipe adapter so you'll be able to thread a nipple in there and a hose bib out there remount it and then we'll be done take a video when we get done that's it so we're here in Fresno California and we finished up this little repair here we've gone ahead and just reused the same block that was in there uh, we put in a new wing L it's a low set wing L and maybe if I can get you a picture of that Looks something like, sorry about the shaking, <laughs> there it is, okay. So the other one was uh, sweat by sweat, so it stubbed copper out, and uh, it snapped. The copper snapped, and one of the tabs on this snapped. So what we did is we replaced it with a sweat by a threaded adapter, iron pipe, stubbed out an iron pipe nipple, and screwed on a hose bib. Uh, this is still brass, so it's a very soft metal, so if you bump that hard, you could split this brass fitting but that's the way they get mounted you can see there's the screws there mounted into the block and nipple stubbed out we did go ahead and silicone it from the outside in squeeze it all the way through just to keep bugs from crawling in and seal it from water um, there was a pretty substantial hole out there already but uh, we went ahead and squirted some silicone in there we didn't do any anything to the outside surface so we didn't enlarge the hole change the hole nothing so we don't warrant any of the uh, you know outside um, but we do warrant it's a shark bite fitting there two options one you can go with the pro press it crimps down onto the copper approved by code or you can go with the shark bite fitting which is what we have also approved by code so whenever you're down low especially on a two-story the water just keeps bleeding through so it's hard to solder anything there so anyways it's dry uh, here up top you can see um, no water anymore I would recommend leaving this open. You can see down here, it's pretty wet. The side, the, the studs are pretty wet. Um, this side not so bad, but the bottom plate is wet. I would leave this open, let it air out. Otherwise, you, if you button it up, you can get some mold back here. So it's just a little sheetrock repair. If there's any wet insulation, which I pulled out over here, leave it out. Don't put it back in. Get some new stuff in here. It's sitting right there. Outside, I'll show you what we did. <clears throat> so here's the new bib. Uh, there's the old one. You can see. So uh, copper got bent, and usually when it bends, it either begins to spray immediately, or uh, if you try and straighten it back out, it get cra it breaks. So additionally, this uh, wing L here. Um, copper to copper, you can see one of the tabs is broken off, so it's just one nail holding it together. Um, and it was a soldered on bib, and uh, you can't service these unless you know how to solder. So, what we've got now is we've stubbed out with the iron pipe. We've got a quarter turn uh, shut off out there, so that works great. Not a lot of pressure, but we, like I said, we did go ahead and silicone this all the way back in. You can see that is not a hole that we made, that was the existing hole in the wall. Uh, but we don't like, uh, you know, if you get water, you shouldn't get a lot of water down this wall, but if insects can crawl in there or any kind of moisture gets in there, so it's siliconed in, this is a point of courtesy to the homeowner. And so that is our installation. Outside of that, we are done.